हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस इन टुडेस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट अ फ्री एसीसीएम लैब टू डू दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू डाउनलोड द ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड एसीसीएम लैब लेट मी गो टू द गूगल क्रोम एंड देन वी हैव टू गो टू द यू so this is the url and i will provide the link in the description section and then we have to download the free assm lab from this download this lab option so before downloading this lab let's talk about the overview description and prerequisites we can see that it's talking about windows 11 and office 365 deployment lab is designed to help you plan test and validate your modern device running with windows 11 enterprise and microsoft 365 apps managed by enterprise mobility and security okay so basically this lab provides you an automatically provisioned virtual lab environment including your domain joint device client a domain controller and an internet gateway and fully configured assm instance so when you are downloading this lab you will get a two things a lab environment and the lab guide which i will show you in a minute this lab contains the evaluation version of following products so this is the evaluation version of windows 11 version 23h2 we are also getting an assm version 2303 and we can also see that the server version is also 2022 and this lab is also designed to connect to your trial version of microsoft 365 microsoft 365 app for enterprise and office 365 e5 with enterprise mobility or ems license you can perform the following things in this lab like you can configure the cloud management gateway you can also configure tenant attach co management and switching the workload you can also play with the endpoint analytics and optimize windows 11 update delivery you can also play with windows 11 using the operating system task sequence in configuration manager and you can also use the windows autopilot using this lab you can also configure the windows 10 servicing via group policy as well as via assm or configuration manager and then you can also manage the device using intune you can also dynamically manage with windows 11 deploying win32 apps with intune and also help and configure the remote help tool can also play with the microsoft 365 app run enterprise like cloud management deployment locally managed deployment microsoft 365 app for enterprise deployment on non domain join devices like configuration manager enterprise management deployment using microsoft intune servicing microsoft 365 app for enterprise using configuration manager even servicing office 365 for enterprise using intune you can also deploy lob deployments and management with microsoft intune tip and deploy microsoft teams and and also play with the assignment filters there are other some components you can manage using this or test using this like deployment of app as update some of the things related to security and compliance like bit locker windows defender antivirus hello for business defender credential guard application guard exploit guard and then application control and the defender for endpoint so before downloading this lab make sure that you have the required prerequisites to set up this lab so you basically need a hyper v role install on the device you should have the admin rights on the device at least 150 gb of the free disk space also high throughput disk system and minimum 60 gb ram available and 32 gb is recommended and high end process for fast processing Once you have all the prerequisites, you have to go to the download section and click on the download. Then you will see the page something like that, where you have to provide the information. Let me provide the information quickly, and then click on download. And now you can see that we have two zip file for downloading. First one is the lab environment, and second one is the lab guide so you have to download both the files i have already downloaded these files so that's why i am not going to download it so i have created a folder in my c drive called ssm lab i have already download these two files and i have already extracted the zip file and let me extract the guide also 
and now I have extracted the guide as well. So what I am going to do to save the disk space, I am going to delete both these files. And now if you click on the lab folder, you can see that you have three files and one of them is the setup file. We have to run this file to create a lab. But before that, let me show you. I have already enabled the Hyper-V in my machine. And if you are not sure how to enable it, what you have to do, you have to go to the turn windows feature on and off. And then make sure that you have this option Hyper-V and you have to select this feature and reboot the system. And if you are not able to see this option or if you are not getting this option, make sure that in the bio setting, you have to enable the virtualized environment. And then from there, we'll see this option and then you can enable this option. Okay. Once you have this option enabled, reboot your device and then you will see the Hyper-V like I am able to see. And then you can open this. And now this is the Hyper-V where this lab is going to create. Okay. So once this is done, what you have to do? You have to go to the lab folder and then run the setup file. Make sure that you run the setup file from where you want to create your lab. So I want to create my lab in the C drive as CCM lab and within that I am going to create the folders. So in this location, this setup file is going to create the folders and create editing the lab also. What I am going to do, I am selecting this and I am going to click on run as administrator. Then we have to just click on run anyway. And now it is going to start the installation. Okay. So what we have to do, we have to click on next and then we have to accept the agreement. Click on next. And then it's checking whether you have an internet connectivity or not. Yes. Okay. Now we can see that it's saying that you have at least one virtual switch defined in the Hyper-V. So what we have to do, we have to go to the Hyper-V and create a virtual switch manager. And then we have to create a virtual switch and then you just select the virtual switch. It is my uh, Wi-Fi. So let me see Wi-Fi and click on create and then click on yes. Click on OK. Okay, so now we have created a virtual switch manager. And now we can see that the option is also enabled for us to click on next. And then we have to click on next, but make sure that it is going to take approximately 20 minutes. So what I'll do, I'll click on next. And then it is going to extract the content in the same file in the same folder. We can see that it started creating the uh, hyper view. Now, after some time, we can see that lab is created and we can see some warnings and some errors like it is already created some of the Hyper-V. And we can see that client 4 failed to start and not able to allocate some RAM. That is okay. And uh, then it is successfully created the lab and lab is now ready. We have to click on next. And now if you open the Hyper-V and we can see that it automatically created the machine and some of them are already running. And the important Hyper-V machines are HYDCM1. This is the SECM server and this is the domain controller. And then all these are just a client machine. So what I'm going to do, I don't want these machines. I'm going to Turn off these machines. Turn off these machines. Turn off. And uh, then turn off the gateway also. And then we have to select the configuration manager machine. Go to the settings. 
and uh, then we have to increase the ram so i want to give it 5 gb ram and let me disable the dynamic ram and in the checkpoints make sure that use automatic checkpoint is not enabled so this will just ensure that it is not going to automatically take the backup of your vm and click on apply and click on okay so for now because i have a low disk space on my machine i am going to delete this hyper v i am also going to delete the clients and if you are using a machine where you have a low disk space these two machines are enough for you to test and then you can also create your own virtual machine at any point of time and then what i am going to do i am also going to delete the machine if you go to the lab we have client one let me delete this client two let me delete client three let me delete client four delete client five delete client six also delete and we need to make sure that the server parent and windows parent should not be deleted so let me delete other files okay and also the gateway server now this looks okay for me in my case but if you want one or two client machine you can uh, use the client machine and now if you open the hyper v and uh, click on the configuration manager connect start the configuration manager click on connect and now you have to provide the lab admin password and that password is already mentioned in the guide file if you go to the guide file and in this folder we have to click on the setup guide you can see the password of lab admin and the administrator so copy this password and now if we go to the search and type configuration manager we can see the configuration manager console let me in this the taskbar and then open this configuration manager and now we can see that we are able to launch the configuration manager and from there you can play with the configuration manager and this lab is available for 180 days so you can play with this lab and use this lab for next six months so that's all for this video let me know in the comment section what all you want to see in the upcoming video related to SCCM.